The brother of a man who allegedly shot his stepfather and then turned the gun on himself says the family desperately trying to get him help. The shooting happened on Quincy Street in northwest Washington. Brian Russell apparently shot the 79 year old man who raised him and then took his own life. Tonight, his family says that they have no idea why. Stephen Cheetah joins us now with the story. Stephen. Leon, police got a call to this neighborhood about shots fired about 7 this morning. And right now, a family is trying to come to grips with the reality that a beloved family member shot and wounded their patriarch, then turned the gun on himself. What happened can't change that. It happened. The family is heartbroken and trying to make sense of something unexplainable. A stepson shot the 79-year-old man who had raised him. He's dead ready. He shot him and then he went and shot himself. Early this morning, shots echoed from this house on Quincy Street. Brian Russell apparently took aim at his invalid stepfather. He shot and wounded Roy Russell. Younger son Darren raced downstairs to find his father bleeding profusely. He says something set his brother off. Probably just talking or something like that or something, arguing or something. He probably got upset. Brian Russell then went into the backyard and apparently turned the gun on himself. His family says after a stint behind bars, he began to drink heavily. Everybody knew he needed help. We tried to get help for him, you know. You know, he'd been in and out of jail. Well, he ain't been in and out. He'd been in jail for so long. Kevin Muhammad lives next door. He says he saw Brian Russell just last night and everything seemed normal. I went to take the trash out and as I came back, he was in a back plane with, uh, with his dog. And I said good night and that was it. Tonight, while the Russells pray for their patriarch's recovery, they wonder what made their brother snap. Apparently he did. You know, if to do something, if anybody do something like that, I guess he did. You know, I don't know what went on in his mind. I know it's messed up. His family says that Roy Russell already is in very poor health. He has diabetes, he has been bedridden and wheelchair bound. At last report, he was in stable recovery. They are in stable condition. They are praying for his recovery. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News. All right, thank you, Stephen. Time now for a look at the day's other top stories.